Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to add a pop-up to your Figma designs, maybe a little window that appears when someone hits a buy button, you're in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through a super clear, beginner-friendly tutorial on how to create a simple pop-up overlay in Figma. By the end, you'll know how to make your designs more interactive and lifelike, which is a big plus whether you're designing for web, mobile, or just prototyping a cool idea. All right, let's dive in. So I already have a buy button ready here as a component. If you don't have one yet, just draw a simple rectangle, make it look like a button with some text on top, and you're good to go, no need to overthink it. Now the next step is to create what will become our pop-up. Think of the pop-up as a separate frame. It should sit outside your main design, almost like a stage waiting in the wings before it makes its grand entrance. Go ahead and hit F for the frame tool or select it from the toolbar. Click anywhere off to the side of your main design and draw your frame. Make sure it's big enough to hold your pop-up content, but not so large that it overshadows the whole design. Now inside this new frame, let's add some content. For this example, I'm just going to keep it simple and pop in a text label that says Purchases. You can get fancy with images or more details later, but for now, focus on making sure the frame and label are clear and easy to spot. This will be our actual pop-up. Once you've got your pop-up frame set up, it's time for the fun part making it interactive. Head over to the Prototype tab at the top right. With your Buy button selected, you're going to add a new interaction. Click the little blue circle that appears and drag it to connect with your pop-up frame. In the pop-up that shows up, set the trigger to on tap. This basically tells Figma. When someone clicks this button, do something. For the action, we want Open Overlay. Overlays are like floating panels that appear above your main design, perfect for pop-ups. Make sure the overlay positioning is set to Centered. This way, when your pop-up appears, it pops right up in the middle of the screen, not off in a forgotten corner. Let's polish up a few details to make the experience feel real. Set it so the overlay closes when someone clicks outside it. This is super user-friendly. Think of it like being able to click outside a dialog box to close it, just like you would on most websites or apps. Enable a background with 50% opacity. This gives your pop-up that nice dimming effect behind it, so the focus stays right where you want it, on your pop-up. Last touch here, add a move-in animation with a duration of 500 milliseconds. This means instead of just popping in instantly, your dialogue will smoothly slide into view. It's a small detail, but it makes your prototype feel so much more polished and thoughtful. All right, time to preview the magic. Click on the present button in the top right corner and give that buy button a tap. You should see your pop-up appear, perfectly centered with that gentle fade and slide effect. Feel free to click outside the pop-up to check that it closes as expected. Don't worry if you need to tweak the positioning or the animation timing. A little experimentation goes a long way to getting it just right. And that's it how to create a clean, interactive pop-up in Figma, even if you're brand new to the tool. I hope this walkthrough helped clarify not just the steps, but the why behind each one. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Drop any questions or other Figma tips you want to share down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more easy-to-follow tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy designing.